I am at Judith Bright's beautiful jewelry store. Look at how beautiful and cute her place is in 12th South in Nashville. I'm going in here to do a podcast with Judith. Usually I'm not like having the opportunity to talk to locals and this is Judith's very first podcast. So she's like, I don't know how to do this. I'm like, girlfriend, I'm going to teach you this. This ain't hard, but people need to know your story because her story is incredible and her jewelry is incredible. So like, I'm so not into jewelry, but she's kind of got me into jewelry now. So I'll have to show you what we got in here. So, this is Judith. Hi. Hi. This amazing jewelry maker in Nashville. And this is her behind the scenes BTS of her amazing custom jewelry shop. They're making earrings and sparkling beads. Yeah, so we, we make jewelry for stock in here and we also change out gemstones. So for instance, if you want you like these earrings, you like the style, but you want it in a blue stone, mm -hmm. we can do that on the spot for you. So you don't have to come back. That's amazing. Now, do people buy these things online? Yes. Is it JudithBright.com? And can people order custom colors online? Yeah, the, all the choices are available. And in some of the designs we have, you can get 40 different gemstones. And that's Kat. That's the face of Judith Bright right there. Yay! Organizing her tools. So all of these things out here have a story. And I'm quickly going to show you. Whoop. Okay. So take two, tell them about the movie posters. Okay, so we've had a lot of our jewelry in television and film, and the way a poster gets up in our store is that it has to be featured in the poster. So those are our earrings on Meryl Streep. Our hoops are on, on Mela Kunis down here. You can't really see them. We had a lot of jewelry in there, but not all of it made it to the poster. This is our cuff, and those are our earrings. That's awesome. So we'd like to be reminded of that. And then this month is yeah. May. May, and the birthstone is emerald and chrysoprase. So every month we change out our tissue and flowers to reflect the birthstone of the month. Love it's nice, it gives it a fresh take. And the girls apart at work and there. That's right. And dogs can come in and get a treat. Oh, we love our doggy friends. So if you're in 12 South, stop by, bring your dog in. And we have some awesome cards by a local gal, local company. Just cause. This is my favorite one. Happy birthday, you. <laughs> you old ho. That's great. Yeah. And then, is this the birthstone of the month? Yes. Over here? Okay. Yes. And this, yeah, chrysoprase, and then these are, I guess it's all chrysoprase in here, but you can also get emeralds and really tiny ones. Beautiful. And then this is um, Nest. They're a company out of New York. It's very popular. And we use the grapefruit um, as a scent in all of our stores, and people love it so much, we decided we had to sell it. So they are so nice, and they sell us just this one flavor, which they don't need to do. So if you guys can like close your eyes and just dream of like a May summer day with like grapefruit, that's what it smells like in here. Thanks. We can't smell it anymore. And I love the base. Right? Because right. you're so used to it. I know. It's amazing. I mean, I've had it all in my house. I can smell it when I walk in. Yes. So that's it. So this is a dream catcher. Yes, this was made by one of our very talented jewelry makers, Allison, and she's at the Berry Hill studio um, all the time, really. She doesn't come in here very much. And then she did this kind of twisted wire of our logo and catches all of our dreams in here. So you hang it above your bed. You do, or you hang it in your store and dream, and hopefully they'll be caught. So what special stories about these? Okay, the, these earrings are called the Sarah earrings. This is just an example. And Sarah was a person that was really important to me. Very, very good friend of my mom's. Kind of my second mom. And she's not here anymore. So when she died, I designed those earrings for her. So we've had those since the beginning of time. Um, and then what are these beautiful necklaces? Oh, these are the bauble of the month. Every month we have one item that is 25% off the entire Ooh. month. And so you can have this in any combination of silver and gold with any different gemstone on it. And it's 25% off, which is great. Because we don't do a lot of sales. You don't need to. Well, it's just it's <laughs> custom stuff. So Okay, my favorite is the little... Our little logo? Yes, the in the clasp. 
Like, yeah, we make our class by hand. And I never really realized how important that was until my mother got a gift from Tiffany's and mm -hmm. she couldn't clasp it. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, like Clasping hands. is hard. That's why, that's why we do these. And so a lot of older people can buy our stuff. Yes. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, yeah, these are the cat earrings. These are named after cat. And we've got a cat, whole cat line, and it's based on this chain link, this little disc chain link. And then here is, this is kind of, these are our charms. And these are um, actual zodiac signs that I actually drew, hand drew, and then we had them translated into graphics and then had them st stamp made and then stamp them. So you can get anything. And you can get your uh, birthstone on it too, or wear it alone. These are our alphabet charms. We have our own alphabet that we created. And so it's a kind of a proprietary thing. So you can get your alphabet. So these are sorority, yeah, these are for our sorority sisters. Yeah, and this is our, oh, cross. This is our cross. And this is our logo. It's the lotus. You know, lotus flower means um, blooming, fresh, new every single day. That's something that we, we just love is the, the meaning behind the lotus flower. People okay. come over here in the mirror? Yes. And try things out? Yes. Okay, so this is one named after this woman named Dominique. Okay. When I spent a year in Italy learning how to make jewelry, this gal kind of showed us all around. Her name is Dominique, and so that's where that comes from. Oh, look at these pretty bracelets. Yeah, this is the, the work on here is just incredible. It's all hand done. Wow. Hand hammered, hand wrapped. This is, these are the Yossi earrings. We have some high school students that come in and work for us and she's done a great job. She makes our ear wires now and her name is Yossi. So we paid a tribute Ooh. to her. And this, this is one of the newer things that's really popular with stars. It's a great present because you can give it to someone and say, you're a star. That's so cute. Now these, I love, I saw these online. Yes. And I'm like, these would make awesome bridesmaids gifts. Yeah, those are, we definitely had those for bridesmaids. We have a, a brides come in here all the time. Not People alone. have actually gotten married with our rings though. Yeah, and engaged, it's been really sweet. That's awesome. People on their, you know, like a second marriage will give their, um, you know, fiance one of our rings and their children one too. That's awesome. It is, it's really nice. But yeah, this is an example of things that you know brides have come in to buy as bridesmaids' gifts. And since we have 40 different stones, we can match any wedding color at all. Yeah. And, I'll, and these are very popular because they're $33 and they've just got a little stone on them. It's a nice accent. I have this. Yes, you do. <laughs> and something that's really hot right now are pearls. So we bought a ton of pearls when we oh, went on our wow. last buying trip. Those are beautiful. And I, I mean, like, just the attention to detail with, like, all the down lights and, like, the clear cubes, everything is so clean looking so it doesn't take away from the jewelry. Thank you. Yeah, all of our displays are handmade, too, which is nice. And this is, we're doing a whole big thing um, with a shimmer wall in the front soon, and so we're, this is going to be in front of the shimmer wall. And this is my handwriting, and we send out thank you notes on postcards that say shine bright. And so that's what that's from. And this is our birthstone of the month. So all these things are either um, emerald or chrysoprase. Because a lot of people come in and buy people their birthstone for a gift. It's a great, great way to do it. The other thing that's really unique about us or special about us is that all the gemstones have a meaning. And, you know, we know what those meanings are. So if someone's coming in to buy something for a friend who's maybe going through chemo, then we direct them to Labradorite, which is strength and perseverance. That's and awesome. yeah, so they can give it something with, with a meaning. Mm -hmm. And then if you, if you look over here behind you, you'll see a case with Labradorite in it. So everything comes with what it means is strength and perseverance. Oh my and then on the back is a, ch a quote that I chose that says, if it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. It's mm -hmm. the heart that makes it great, Tom Hanks. So everything has a quote and a meaning, so it's very personalized. Yes. Yeah, well, this is very popular. This is tourmalinated quartz, That's protection beautiful. from negativity. We all need protection ah. from that at, at times. 
And we don't have any of that in here. No, no. negativity at Positive, all. Positive, spiritual, mm -hmm. inner peace. Contra consciousness and manifestation, which I joked with one of my customers who's ready to get in the dating scene. Oh. We said consciousness and man infestation. I love it. So she bought one. <laughs> That's she awesome. got a ring and a necklace. And has she gotten a man yet? <laughs> Almost. Um, this is um, the Ashley necklace. This was named after one of my first jewelry makers, who now is a very successful weaver. Ooh. Yeah. Like She's a doing really basket great. weaver? She weaves uh, tapestries and clothes and rugs okay. and... She's a, she's amazing. Oh yeah. And Jaren was named after one of um, our old accountant's wives. We like that name. These are the newest edition. This is named. This is the Erin necklace, an Erin charm. This is named after our assistant manager in our Atlanta store. So how she's many so stores do you have? Two stores. So Atlanta. Atlanta here, and then South. Right, and then Barry we have Hill. a studio in Berry Hill. Okay. And this is uh, the Jamie necklace named after my middle son, James, who took a, a, a link out of my um, scrap metal and he took a tool. He was about eight years old and worked it into that. And I've, we've had it in the line ever since. People oh love my it. gosh. Yeah. And then this is just something we love to have our, our stone samples so that people can understand that this stuff is out of the ground. It is just fascinating. And this is that stone I was talking about, Labradorite. Look at how cool that is. It's gorgeous. Yeah, the different shine. This is tiger's eye, which is really neat. So, on your sign out there, how do you say that artist? Artis artisanal. Artisanal. Yeah, <laughs> so that just means handmade. Oh, okay. And these are our, oh, these yes. are our postcards that we have that we love. And you we love. Have it. Yeah. So, is this your hashtag? Yeah, our hashtag is "It's a Bright World." That's awesome. Because we really believe that, you know. And everybody comes in yeah. here with just. A great attitude and it's a wonderful place to work to walk in and to just be here these are awesome rings thank you yeah, and these are these are used as um, bridesmaids gifts as well Look at all and they're reasonable and so we really cover the, the gamut in the age range we say from 8 to 80 and so the huge range but it, it really is true I like yeah. that. Eight it's, to it is. It's eight to eighty, and you know our brand is all about inclusiveness. You know, yes. with different sizes, anyone can get any size ring. That, you know, regardless of their wrist being really small or their wrist being really big, there's always something for them. So, if and you, these are the stone meanings. These are the metaphysical properties that I was talking about. Oh, cool! So people will come in like this is a great graduation sentiment, lapis yeah. for intuition and wisdom, or pyrite for protection. And then Moonstone for New Beginnings. So those are really popular for our graduates as gifts. That's awesome. So if you want to learn more about Judith, you'll have to listen to our podcast. <laughs> It'll be coming out soon. Go to judithbright.com. Check out the jewelry. Beautiful, handmade, artisanal. <laughs> Finished up a podcast with Judith Bright. So much fun. I don't always get to do them in person like this. It was really really a treat look at these beautiful earrings that you gave me oh my gosh and um had wonderful people i've always had wonderful people who um work at my company and we just made it made it work <laughs> as tim gunn would say we made it work and so the deal was three years because they sold out to a big mall company Taubman. and so they, i knew i was going to have to move and so I just had seen a couple studios here on 12 South because back then it was kind of studios and small businesses and um, you know I never really shopped over here there wasn't much to do over here and so I found a little house and it had been a recording studio before I got it and so you can see how it was a recording studio if you come by there's a the, we really have our um, jewelry studio that's here on site in in the booth so there's a glass wall on the other side and that's where they were tracking and they were recording the instruments in here where we make our jewelry and now it's happening more than more than anything because people did think what are you doing <laughs> this is crazy for you to move and it's not even that far but it seemed at the time far and we just lucked out timing right place right time and everything is handmade which number one is what sets us apart from most jewelry lines that you'd find in a store because most people outsource uh, the jewelry to you know overseas or shops in New York 
um, and we make everything here. And we have a studio in Berry Hill now, and that's where we make the majority of the inventory for our Nashville store, for our Atlanta store, and for our website. One thing that really does set us apart is we do get our gemstones cut for us. And so they're in our specific sizes, and that was a way to to separate our line from others' lines because you won't find those sizes. And we have more gemstones than anyone else, more gemstone choices. There's a stone called chrome diopside. It's a crazy, you don't hear about it much, but it's for healing trauma. So people will get that and, and they'll look at that on their wrist and remind themselves that they're healing. Or for someone going through chemotherapy, people will come in and they'll buy Labradorite, which is for strength and perseverance. And, you know, we've got graduation coming up. That's just a big time of year for us. And, you know, kids are going on their way and they'll give a gift uh, for Moonstone. It's for new beginnings or Lapis for intuition and wisdom. So there's a meaning behind a gift that you give to someone. It's not just something, oh, I thought you'd think this was pretty, but I think you'd think this was pretty. And it's for protection when you're away at school. We do really feel like we have something for everyone. One of the things uh, that is very important to us is um, being inclusive and kind. And that is a cornerstone to, uh, to what we believe in and how we treat one another here. And our customers, we treat them as we would our sister, our best friend, our mom, our aunt. We love what we do, we love our stuff, and just kind of feel like we take them through a journey when they come in here. And that's the thing about jewelry, it just has so much meaning. One thing I, I will mention our, our lo logo, it's a lotus flower, and people are like, is this a yoga studio? <laughs> that just symbolizes that every day is a chance to be a better self, a new self, do something good for someone. And that's what we really, really believe in. And so that's why the lotus flower. You mentioned e-commerce and selling online and you had your website before your store. And I know it's not easy to sell on e-commerce and sell online, even in almost 2020. So would you, was that one of your biggest challenges is setting up e-commerce and selling online? <laughs> She's like rolling her eyes. There's so many challenges, but what like sticks out in your mind? Like this was our top challenge and this is how we overcame it. Top challenge, so many. Um, you know, I think really, um, yeah, the e-commerce definitely was tough because, you know, I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna put this website out and everybody's gonna shop there and it's gonna be great. I can make jewelry in my jammies, but that's not how it goes. <laughs> not, not at all. It is an ever evolving thing. But one thing that, that really I have learned and I really have learned this over and over again is every time there's a challenge that you think, oh my God, this is this is it. Um, I'm done, or you know, I, I'll never recover from this or that. You know.